Okay, boys and girls, it's time for sex and phonics lesson 33. Don't forget to practice your spelling words. Spelling list number six. Okay, today you will need lesson 33. We're going to play bingo today. And then we are going to have another worksheet, lesson 33 behind it, on suffixes. All right, so first let's review your cards and then we'll get ready to play bingo. All right, get ready to name the letters. K, S, digraph C, H, B, digraph S, H, digraph C, K, A, R, G, combination I, R, combination O, R. Digraph T H P T V combination U R combination A R Q combination E R combination Q U X U combination W H Z Sad word cards. All right, new and old in this deck. Let's look. Could, don't, should, something, they are, it belongs to them. They are, as in a place, were, won't, would, your, you, Tomorrow, eight, R, together, said, the, have, into, one, today, love, where, some, to, was, who, of, what, to, from, they, come, for, do. All right, let's play bingo. All right, look at your card. All right, I will give you directions. You will cross out the word or the spelling pattern that I say. Remember, when you have four boxes down, across, or from corner to corner, you can say bingo. All right, let's play. All right, cross out the sight word what. What. Cross out the sight word from, from, cross out the initial spelling in the word well, well. Cross out the sight word R. R. Cross out the initial spelling in the word quail, quail. Cover the sight word or cross out the sight word, said, said. Cross out 
the medial spelling in the word farm. R Cover the sight word says says cover the medial spelling in the word fern. I should be hearing bingo. Let's check your work. You should have the sight word what. You should have the sight word from right beside it. The initial spelling in well combination WH. The sight word R. The initial spelling in quail. Q U sticks like glue. Combination Q U. The sight word said. Said. The medial sound in farm, R, combination A-R. The sight word says. The medial sound in firm, R, combination E-R. And then the sight word were. All right, you have a diagonal this week. Check it out. All right, turn your paper over. Let's practice spelling. Some review words. Number one, let's spell the word grip. I grip my pencil with my fingers. Grip. Tell me the sounds you hear in grip. Get ready. G. I. One more time. G. I. Spell grip on number one. Let's spell grip. Get ready. G R I P. What word? Yes, grip. Number two. Let's spell the word fish. Fish. I like to read the rainbow fish. Fish. Tell me the sounds you hear. E. The sounds are f ish. Spell fish on number two. All right, let's check. 
Pick your work. Fish. F I S H. What word? Fish. Number three. We are going to spell the word for. I will go to the store for some milk. For. Tell me the sound you're hearing for. Get ready. Or. One more time. Or. Spell for on number three. Spell it. Get ready. F O R. What word? Yes, four. All right, number four. Sight word. This is a sight word. All right, it is also a contraction. Remember, contractions are two smaller words that come together. Some of the letters are left out, and in its space is an apostrophe. So number four, don't. I don't know the answer. Don't. Spell don't and on number four. Don't. Let's check our work. All right, don't. Get ready. D O N apostrophe T. What work? Don't. It stands for do not. Do not. All right, this next word, if I can spell don't, I can spell this word. Number five is won't. Won't. Mom says we won't be able to go to the beach because of the storm. Won't. Spell won't on number five. W-O-N apostrophe T, won't. All right, if I can spell don't, I can spell won't. All I have to do is change that initial sound. They're spelled the same way. All right, don't is do not. Won't comes from will not. Remember, that one's the rule breaker. Will not is won't. All right, number six, your, this is your second grade year, your, spell your on number six.
show your Y O U R. What word? Yes, your. All right, pencils down, ears and eyes, watching and listening. All right, let's look at these words. Right, we've got dogs, cats, colts, blocks. All right, do you notice anything about these words? Do these words have anything in common? All right, they all end with the letter what, guys? Yes, with the letter S. That's right. What does it mean when you add S to the end of a word? It makes it mean more than one of that thing. So dog, when you add S, more than one dog. Well, cat is one, when we add S, more than one cat is cats. That's right, so that S means more than one. When the letter S is added to the end of a word, it makes the word plural. Plural means more than one. All right, does anyone know what this S at the end is called? It's called a suffix. A suffix is something that can be added to the end of a word that changes the meaning of the word. All right, a root word is the simple word that doesn't have to have anything added to it. It's a word all by itself. All right, we can tell what the root word is if we can get rid of the suffix. So we can code the suffix and see what the root word is that's left. So we're going to code our suffix with a box. And when we box it, we can see what the root word was. So let's look at these words. I have dogs, cats, colts, and blocks. All right, we said S was the suffix, so I'm going to box the S in each one, and we'll see what's left. All right, now let's look. What is left of this word? Dog. Is dog a real word? Yes, so dog is the root word and S is the suffix. What about in this one? Cat. Is cat a real word? Yes, so cat is the root word. S is the suffix. It makes it mean more than one cat. What about this one? All right, colt. Is colt a word? Yes. All right, and suffix s means more than one. What about this word? Is block a real word? Yes. So block is the root word. S is the suffix. All right, now, look at this word. What if I have this word and I box the S? suffix s? No, that s is part of that word. All right, so that doesn't work. 
So not every S at the end of a word is a suffix, okay? It has to be a word that can stand by itself and then have an S at the end to be a suffix S. All right. Now, let's look and code the rest of, the, of this word. All right, what else can I do to dogs to code it? Vowel followed by a consonant is short. Ah, uh, dogs. What about in cats? Vowel followed by a consonant is short. And then I need a K back. What about in colts? Oh. All right, it's a wild cold word. It has a long vowel sound with a K back. And then the next one, blocks. What about CK? There we go. Very good. All right, now. Let's look at some new words. All right, I have standing, hatless, landed. Each of these words end with a suffix. There are three different suffixes used on these words. Can you tell me what they are? All right, standing, hatless, landed. Right, do you see a real word inside of here? Right, we see stand. So it must be I-N-G. Standing. Alright, what about in hatless? Here we see hat. So this part must be the suffix. What about in landed? There we see land. So this part must be the suffix. All right, so we have suffix ing, suffix l-e-s-s, -S, and suffix ed. All right, suffix ing means it's happening right now. I am standing by the board. That's something I am doing right now. So I will add ing to that word to mean it, make it mean I am doing it right now. So ing means it's happening right now. I am eating breakfast. Eat, ing, eating. We are painting my room. I-N-G to paint, painting. All right, this next one. Less means without. So if you are hatless, you are without a hat. Homeless means without a home. Careless means without a care, okay? And then the next one, suffix ed means it's already happened, means it happened in the past. So landed means it's already happened. The plane landed on the airstrip. It's already happened. Landed. Painted. Standed. Or actually it stood. That one was not a good one. Brushed. E-D. Brushed. Okay. All right. Now. Let's look at your new cards.
Alright, so our new cards today are suffix cards. Suffix are added to the ends of a root word to change the meaning of that root word. Alright, this is suffix ed. Suffix ed means it's already happened. It happened in the past. So suffix ed means what? It's already happened. Already happened. We will box our suffix and make sure we have a root word in front of it. All right, this is suffix ing. We will box it. Suffix ing means it is happening right now. Yes, happening right now. Alright, suffix less, L-E-S-S, -S, suffix less. We will box our suffixes. It means without. What does it mean? Yes, without. And suffix S means more than one. What does suffix S mean? More than one. Alright, number seven on your paper. Number seven on your paper. My turn. T. Yes. T. All right. T can make be made two different ways now. All right. T can be at the beginning or end of a word, and ed can also say t at the end of a word. So now, when you hear t, you will put t. Final T or suffix ED. T, final T or suffix ED. Like in jumped, jumped, you hear the t sound instead of the d sound. Number eight, d. What sound? Yes, d. All right, when you hear the d sound, it can be d at the beginning or in the final sound, or it can be ed, like in field. ED can say the D sound or the T sound at the end of a word. So D, final D, or suffix ED can say it. So write those rules. Number nine, we're going to spell with some of these suffixes. Number nine is one of the suffix ed spellings. Number nine, jumped, jumped. I jumped from the diving board, jumped. Listen, j, uh, mm, t. Think about the way you spelled it up here. Jumped.
jump. J U M P E D. That E D is making the T sound in this word. Jumped. Jumped. Our right, number 10. Going. Going.